Hi friends, I'm back again. This time I'll be walking you through how to make this techno stab in serum. So let's take a listen and get started. So here's what we'll be making today. So that's it. Um, yeah, that's the whole tutorial. Just kidding. All right, so let me solo this. And so I have two instances of Serum going on, and I'll explain that in a bit. But right now, I'll just get into Serum. So I have both oscillators turned on, one set to Juno, another one set to this BSOD square. I have both of these just with one voice. You know, this is a low frequency sound, so I don't want it too much in the uh, stereo space, so just keep it mono. Um, the amplitude envelope is kind of, it's like a, for a plucky sound, so I have a pretty quick attack, relatively short decay. Um, you know, you could hear the effect of lengthening this decay, but like I said, I don't want it, I want it plucky, so I'm just gonna keep it at like around half a second. I then have this uh, LFO being linked or mapped to the filter the filter cutoff, and I have the filter as an 18 dB per octave, uh, the Moog emulation filter, that's what MG is in Serum. And so I have the filter set as an envelope because I want the LFO to be triggered every time a MIDI note is played. So that's what the, the envelope function does. I have the uh, rate set to half a cycle, half a beat. And um, you, know, if you, you can play around with the decay times on this, get a pluckier sound or like a longer sound, but that's kind of a personal preference. I'm gonna keep it here. So yeah, like I said, I have that link to the cutoff. I also have this drive and fatness knob turned up uh, just to add some more weight to the sound. So, you know, you could hear the effect of that. So it actually makes a pretty big difference. You get a lot of harmonics just by adding some of the drive and fatness. I also have this resonance which kind of, I mean, if you turn it up, you almost get like an acid -y effect. But I just want it to, you know, just kind of be there, add a little bit of character to the sound. So let's go into the effects section. So my first effects in the chain is just a simple high pass filter at 100 hertz. You know, with this track, I have uh, a sub bass line as well. So I don't want this techno stab interfering with the uh, sub bass harmonics from my uh, bass synthesizer. So then I have it going into the Serum Distortion. I have it on a soft clip, and this is actually driving pretty hard. I have the drive set to 80% and the mix set to 100. But I mean, I like the tonality this gives. Again, it adds more, like I said, weight and fatness. And very, sounds very analog, because you know, that's what all the cool kids are doing. Just kidding, analog, analog sounds cool. Anyways, <laughs> we'll not get into that discussion today. Uh, so the next uh, effect in the chain is hyperdimension. So that's just to give it a little bit of uh, stereo presence. So like I said, with low frequencies, you don't want you know too much stereo. So I have these pretty, uh, I have these mixed pretty low. So just 8% on the hyper part and 3% uh, on dimension. You know, I find that I, I'm not really a big fan of how both of these sound when the mix is high, so I like to keep it just like kind of barely uh, affecting the sound. And then it's going into the chorus, which again is just for just a little bit more stereo presence to make it a little bit more uh, interesting because you know with the I have this rate set pretty slow, so it's just kind of kind of like morph the sound a little bit over time. And again, I have the mix just set to 9% because, you know, you know, the more you have that sort of stereo effect with bass, you're going to lose a lot of the body and it's going to be, it's not going to cut through your mix very well. And so, so that's what I have on this instance of Serum. And so with an instrument rack, I, I love this feature about Ableton. Um, you know, you could have a bunch of different VSTs that are taking the same MIDI input and you can mix them all within the rack. 
So here I have another instance, instance of Serum that's the exact same patch as this one, except it's just an octave higher. So right, right here you can see it's like plus one, plus one. And then because this is sort of like a higher frequency, let me just solo this and you can hear what I'm talking about. So that's what this is versus that. So, I mean, the reason I have this is just to add a little bit more of the upper end, some harmonics. So it cuts, uh, cuts through the mix a little bit better. You can hear it more. And so because it's a high frequency sound, I have the uh, voice is set to three on just one of the oscillators. So I mean, if I turn it down, it's gonna be back in mono, but I like the uh, stereo spread of this um, serum instance that's octave higher. But everything else though is uh, the same. Got the same effects. Um, the filter cutoff is set a little bit higher, I believe. Or maybe that's the same. But you know, you can just play around with this to get, you know, the the uh, sound you're going for. So then let's see how I processed it. Let me put this back on. So with this EQ, I have some of these low mids being notched out because I mean, there's a pretty nasty resonance, especially with all the sort of distortion and effects that I'm putting on it. You could hear. You know, you have this low mid resonance and you know, low mids just sound pretty nasty and it was uh, muddying up my mix. So I just took out uh, those frequencies and then boosted some of the mid range. Again, just give it more presence, have it sit better in the mix. Um, the, the sound had quite a, a hard transient. So I'm just, I just have this compressor just to tame it all together and also to it's kind of gluing both of these instances of serum so it's gelling them together as a uh, one sound so i have the attack set pretty quickly just to uh take the bite off that um that transient and then i have this effect called head crusher this is actually a free plugin by audio assault i love this thing it adds like a lot of uh, grit, especially I feel like to the sort of top end, a little bit of sparkle, a little bit of crunchiness. Um, this makes a huge difference. Here's with it off. And then here's with it on. I don't even have the drive set very high. I mean, you can get crazy. I mean, that's, that sounds pretty fat. So maybe I'll actually have it there. Who knows? I just I have to see what it sounds like in the mix. But yeah, you can see like, this thing can get pretty gnarly. Um, and then I have, again, another EQ because this is adding some more low end and all that. So I'm cutting out uh, everything below like 100 again. And then it's going into this Ableton audio effects rack. And that's just having, uh, just putting reverb on it in a send. Cause I like, it's nice to put reverb and delay on sends. So I have Valhalla Vintage Verb on this send and then Ableton Echo on the other send. So that's, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. It's pretty simple, simple way to make a techno stab in Serum. Um, let's listen to it again. Yeah, anyways, hope you all enjoyed. Send me your videos if you made or your tracks if you use this technique. I wanna hear what you guys are doing with it. And uh, yeah, leave a like, subscribe if you enjoyed this, and peace out. Catch you in the next video.